Hey, what's up everybody? Coach Liz Bona here. In today's video, I've got some great games that you can incorporate in the classroom. So let's get started. Okay, if you're a classroom teacher and you're looking to take a little bit of break from English and math and you want to do something fun for a little bit or you want to use this game to incorporate it into one of your subjects, this is going to be awesome for you. Also, if you're a phys ed teacher, maybe you got kicked out of the gym, they're using it for an assembly and the weather's bad, this is something fun that you can play with your class. All right, and it's basically a relay. So what I would do is I would take the deck ring and you can use anything. I'm going to pass it over to the person that's behind me and then I'm going to take their place in that seat and they're going to do the same thing. And then when it gets to the last person, they're going to run to the front and the process is going to keep going until you get back to your original seat. Okay, this next game is called Buzz. It's a math game. Now, if you want to uh, incorporate exercise if a player gets out, you can do that or you can have stations set up when somebody gets out until another round starts. Okay, but basically in this game, um, I, I find that seven is one of the best numbers to use. Right, so you're going to sit the kids in a circle. They could be in a chair, on the floor, whatever. All right, and this is a great classroom game or if you're kicked out of your gym, this is a great game. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is the first person, you can go counterclockwise, clockwise, doesn't matter, but the first person is going to say one, then the next person says two, next person three, and so on. Anytime you get to a seven, something that has a seven, a seven in it, like 17, or anything that is a multiple of seven, you know, seven times three is 21, so anytime you get to any of those numbers, you have to say buzz, and then it changes direction. So if it was going clockwise, and then it gets to a uh, seven and that person says buzz, it now goes counterclockwise and you go to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, buzz. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, buzz. 15, 16, buzz. 18. Okay, so this next game is called Silent Ball. Um, I'm only using four tables to demonstrate, but you can use the entire class to do it. I have the kids set up to make it a circle and I have the kids put the desks back where they were and before you know it everything is the way it should be. Okay so with silent ball obviously once the game starts they have to be quiet and then they can throw the ball to players at the other uh, desks and um, the teacher basically can judge you know if it was a catchable ball that was dropped or if it was a bad throw right but basically if you make a bad throw or you drop the ball then you have to go sit in your chair so you're allowed to sit with your feet hanging over the front of the desk if you get out and then you give the ball to another person that's still in and then you sit in your chair right and if you know the kids are being too loud the ones that are out then you could just tell them well then you, you know you can't play in the next game all right, and that's just a good way to keep them quiet. Okay, so I would be out. I'll give it to the next person that's in. And then I sit in my chair. Now, if you want to have uh, the players that are out, maybe some busy work, they can draw a picture of something or do some homework, then they can do that until the next round starts. Okay, play our words. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push up. 